Welcome to this week's G.I. Joe Toy Review. This week we will be doing a special double feature because it's the same figure, but uh, with a variant. And uh, same character, but it's two figures with, the, with a variant. And uh, we will be doing Corporal Breaker. And uh, so let's do, before we get to Corporal Breaker, we'll do our special shout outs of the week, starting with Four Color Fantasies at uh, 80 Weems Lane here in Winchester, Virginia, where you buy all your comic book needs. From uh, new titles to back issues to role playing, collector supplies, gaming cards, you know, different things like that. Anything comic book related you need, go ahead and go see them. It is a pretty cool store. And if you're in the Winchester area and need any form of counseling, marital, non, uh, premarital, um, or just regular old counseling, or just have an ear to listen to, uh, go to 133 West Best Cowan Street, Suite Number 10, to see uh, Robert C. Brown, who's a licensed professional counselor, at uh, Healing Grace Counseling Services, Reaching Hearts and Changing Lives. So go ahead and check him out. You know, he's a good person to talk to. He's got great sound advice, you know, coming from a Christian perspective. You know, he's a very good guy to talk to. Um, close personal friend of mine. And then if you leave his office, travel down to 41 South Loudon Street to back to the media at, uh, or in the walk-in, on the walk-in mall, right down the street from, uh, Healing Grace Counseling Services. Uh, and check them out for all your video game needs, as well as, uh, video, uh, movies and toys and deep CDs and different things like that. They got a whole bunch of racks of stuff, comic books and things of the nature, Funko Pops and all that good stuff. So go ahead and check them out. And then go over to see Time Traveler Toys at 115 South Lawn Street on the Walking Mall, just on the other side of the splash pad. And uh, see Charles and Jack, and you can get all kinds of stuff. Uh, you can sell all kinds of collectible stuff and toys and comics and stuff as well. Pick up uh, comics and He-Man and G.I. Joe and Star Wars and Star Trek and Transformers and Thundercats and She-Ra and all that kind of stuff. WWE stuff. You know, check them out. They're a really good store. But let's get to our... our Special presentation of the week of Corporal Breaker. Uh, of course, it's two different figures. You got the uh, the one that come with this version of Destro in the comic two pack, and then you got the one that come on the Ram Cycle in the Ram Cycle versus uh, Flight Pod or Trouble Bubble two pack. Of course, and of course, they both come with the same file card, which says the same thing. So I'm going to be looking at one of them, uh, which says Communications Officer Corporal Breaker. Is his code name? File name: Kibby Alvin R. Primary military specialty specialty is infantry. Secondary military specialty: communications technology. Birthplace is Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and his his grade is E4. <coughs> Corporal Breaker is the G.I. Joe team's communication expert, making him a crucial link between the battlefield and headquarters. He's, from, he's familiar with battlefield technology that helps the team monitor Cobra's activ Cobra activity. Corporal Breaker is with all NATO and war, is familiar with all NATO and war, saw packs communication gear, as well as as well as most world expert devices, special specialized education, signal school, covert upper electronics, Project Gamma, qualified expert in M16, M1911A1, MAC-10, Ingram, classified speaks seven languages. So be careful, he speaks seven languages. I just, it's just classified at which ones he speaks. So if you're speaking in a China and you're speaking another language, Cobra, in a, you better make sure it's not one of the seven that Breaker can speak. Uh, and the quote at the bottom is, he's, he's sufficient and self-assured. And as 
It has an uncanny ability to turn adverse situations to his favor. Yeah, and if you remember the vintage figure, you know, go check them out. But I'll tell you more about that later. But it's surprising how this is a figure they come with no uh, guns in and, and the vintage line. But uh, kind of different here in the modern line. But, you know, just took a look at their accessories. Both of them come with the same. Uh, Upraised Cobra logo, or Upraised G.I. Joe logo. Codenamed Corporal Breaker on this one. And then there's the very on the variant. Still got the Upraised G.I. Joe logo, and it's just a codename Breaker on the front. So let's take a look at their accessories. The Comic Key Pack Breaker comes with his typical helmet. It's kind of plain, but it still works. With his communications backpack. But both of them does align, uh, hook up together through a, through a headset. And it's hooked up through this little tube. This one also came with his, uh, little spat of bubble gum, if you remember in the comic book, but I contended to lost that, but I don't really care. You know, it's just a, a little piece. And he also comes with not one, but two pistols. The modern line actually gave him a gun, which is actually pretty cool. And then the Ram Cycle version only comes with his helmet. And a pistol. So... Basically, that one is, you know, both of them, both they both come with a gun, that's a thank goodness. Let's just take a, uh, take a look at the sculpt, color, and molding of Breaker. As you can tell, it's, it's Caucasian, brown hair. And his web gear on this one is, is on the one that came in the comic 2 pack, it's got extra paint apps. And you see the, the pouches on the web gear is painted, and the grenade is painted. And the belt going along on the web gear is painted black with the pass on the back and the little the little holster right there pass all over the back the uh the belt holster right there pad there uh pad right there in the knee a pocket right there in the knee uh on the on the thigh you know black boots with the basic our military green uniform so let's take a look at this one the variant well, he's got the same pouches and the same web gear, except for the web gear is all completely black, even the belt, the grenade is black, and the pouches on the web gear is black and unpainted. And that separates the differences between both both uh, uh, versions of both of these figures of Breaker. So let's take a look at the articulation, which is exactly the same. So I'm just going to look at this Breaker. For the articulation, where his head does a full 360, which both of them does. Arm goes to about there. Arm can bend at the elbow. It's rotate at the elbow, as well as the wrist. And he's got the ab crunch feature. Which is there, and then he also switch side to side. But the web gear does hinder a little, but not much. Typical T hook at the legs, where you spread to about there. Leg and wrist raise to about there. Double knee joint. His ankle to pivot. As well as swivel. So let's take a look at both of these uh, breakers, you know, all geared up. And here's Corporal Breaker all geared up, ready to go. And uh, this is a great figure, you know, great color scheme. Because he doesn't have to be uh, super pizzazz with like all these neon, 90s neon color stuff that was going on back in the 90s. But uh, this figure is pretty cool, you know, just to be a basic communications officer. At least he came with guns on this one. But, uh, 
Or you have them ride the Ram cycle. You know, which this one is what this one came with the Ram cycle, so it's always good to have that. But uh it's pretty cool to have that. This is this in my opinion, this is a great, awesome, awesome figure. And uh this is uh um in my opinion this is a top tier figure. Just because of the plainness and um, his background story and things like that, you know, is a really awesome thing. Like you see him on what is it, issue number two of the comic book, you know, where he's playing a video game before he was called into action to go into the uh, to get that low low frequency paranoia device that the Russians were developing in the up near the Aurora Borealis. But uh, that's pretty cool. But uh, of course, his first comic book appearance was in issue number one of the G.I. Joe comic book. His first cartoon was in uh, um, The Mass of Eisen Part 1. Even though he was replaced by Sparks, who was only made for the comic book, or not for the comic book, but for the cartoon in uh, the animated, some of the animated series. Didn't really go into the Deke series, but that's alright and cool, though. But uh, this has been Breaker. I look at both versions of Breaker. And, uh, because normally I do the two different versions with two different dates due to the fact that, you know, they got different uniforms. But this one is, you know, it's a variant, so I decided to throw both of them together. So, tune in next week as we review Destro. But this has been Colonel Breaker. And if you want to see vintage versions of this, you know, check out, uh, ACC 788 4MBX257. You could, and, uh, you could also see modern era views for uh, through Joe Fan eighty two Sanitarium Productions. So go ahead and check them out. But this has been Breaker, and tune in next week for Destro. And as for Cobra Island, uh, keep coming back and view these. You know, enjoy yourself and enjoy these videos. Share and post it on all forms of social media. I'm trying to get to 150 subs. Thank y'all for the for the subscribers I do have. You know, and uh, keep tuning in and ask for Cobra Island. Keep coming back and now you know and knowing is half the battle. See y'all in the next one.